What's going on YouTube and welcome back to our channel here at Vagabond Bills and today we got something cool for you guys. We're going to be doing a review of a 2023 Audi Q5 S line quattro package and we're going to be talking about the exterior interior and some specs about the car but before we do if you do like our content like the video subscribe to our channel guys it really helps us out if you have something for us to film here's our email below email us we could talk details later and a special special shout out to sacramento nilo audi for providing us this car with the review and it is not a sponsored video all right, guys, let's go ahead and start this review. So now let's talk Audi and let's talk Q5. And we're going to start off this video with some specs about this exact motor. Now, this motor comes a 2.0 turbo four-cylinder TFSI motor. Comes with 261 horsepower, 273 foot-pounds of torque. A little bit about the MPG. You get 22 city on this. You have 25 combined and a 29 highway. 4,400 pounds of towing capacity. And of course, you have the Quattro. Don't forget that anyone should get the Quattro. It's pretty uh, standard for these Audis to come Quattro. Now, you will have an option of hybrid, which provides you with more horsepower and more, more torque. So take that into consideration on this car. Let's go ahead and shut that hood. Now let's talk front end, everybody. Now we're not gonna be seeing anything much different or big change on these Q5s in the 2023 models. We left the lights on for the sake of the video so you guys could kind of get an idea of how the lights look with the signal lights, the hazards lights are on right now, but I love in the character. One thing that I always loved about Audi is the character that they put in their cars. Look at how much uh, curvature, angles you have looking sporty aggressive on those headlights front end beautiful you are going to be seeing some different grills coming in different little designs here quattro audi st stamped bumper sensors integrated in the lower side of this bumper cover very nice uh bezels around the car loving how this white which if anyone wants to know this white is called a glacier white exterior paint color now, a lot of people have been asking me for certain cars and the paint, so I'm gonna start mentioning that in the videos. Got that metallic silver around with that black coming all together, beautiful. On the bottom, check this out. I wanna show you guys something. This typically would kind of be like a black, durable plastic look. Now, this is coming painted. Check that out, like kind of like a silver color. Very cool to see that we're seeing that in the Audis, kind of making it of a rich, uh, higher class feel on the car. It's coming over to the side. You have the uh, wheel, well, uh, wheel well trims that come painted as the same color as the car. Very nice, kind of high class. I'm a fan of that. You will be seeing uh, other cars or manufacturers, things of that sort, uh, have black plastic, which it's durable plastic, but I typically like the painted more than the plastic. Here, being the Premium Plus package and S-Line, you will be seeing different rims. So take that into consideration. These are 19-inch rims. They have uh, a bicolor machine surface silver with that kind of gunmetal gray on the interior side of that rim. Take, that, take note into that because uh, standard would be like an 18-inch rim. You will see different designs on the rims depending on packages and things of that sort. S-Line stamped, letting you know the S line comes a little bit more sporty. I want you guys to kind of get an idea of the side of this beautiful Q5. Keyless fob entry, pretty much standard that we're seeing on all these Audi cars. Integrated side markers, look at that. Very nice, the character in those lines that you see on that marker. That durable black plastic up on the bottom, white on top, with your camera integrated here. There's also camera integrated in the front, uh, front center of the car itself. You do have 360 camera around this car. Those uh, side mirrors are going to be electric heated uh, dimmable side mirrors. Rear tail lights are LED. So remember, you're getting LED around this whole car. Very nice that you have that uh, premium lighting at night so you're not like squinting your eyes with those old uh, yellow headlights. Backlights, look at that. Look at the character and that loving it. There's a lot going on. So you know Audi takes time in their cars. Q5 stamped, Quattro stamped on the right, Audi stamped in the middle with that metallic silver, metallic silver with the black durable plastic on that lower side diffuser. 
dual tip exhaust. These are your backup lights with your parking brakes and your reflectors. Let's go ahead and enter. Now, coming into the trunk space of the car, you have an optional of getting hands-free uh, tailgate, but this is not hands-free. We're gonna just press that button. You're gonna see the camera right here. It's right next to that trunk button to open that tailgate. Now we're inside on this trunk space. So pretty much simple, straight to the point. We don't see much change. A little bit of pocket room. Under the mat, you have your uh, tire situation stuff going on. You got your trunk cover just in case you got stuff. You don't want people to look inside your trunk. And these rear seats do pop down. There are 40, 20, 40 seats. We'll pop that down when we're talking about the second row seating. Very nice ambient LED lighting. That's one thing I'm loving about Audi is that they put those really nice slick lights in their cars and pushing by the button you can drop this tailgate so we're pretty much done with the exterior and some trunk space talk let's go ahead and enter the interior all right now coming on to the interior side of this beautiful 2023 audi q5 now before i get into the inside is gosh that handle comes up very nice and a nice pop on that door also, something that we see that's pretty cool from other manufacturers and new to uh, cars is that kind of side step plate, that S-line illuminated step plate. Very cool look, and it drops down towards the rocker panel of the car. Very cool. Let's go ahead and enter the car. Oh, and gosh, I've always been a fan of Audi. Just sitting inside. Now, being a Q5, it's not the tip-tip top of the SUVs. It is more of a compact SUV. But guys, the the character and the time that Audi puts in these cars are just beautiful. Just get a load of the beauty, the nice, beautiful, natural wood on the trims, on your door panels, on the dashboard. Beautiful black gloss with the silver coming in. Very high class and rich feel. Standing here, just kind of getting an idea. Starting with the door panel, you have your control units for your unlock, lock, and your memory uh side mirrors now being a premium plus package you do have the electrical folding mirrors control unit here control unit for your side mirrors windows trunk lid uh button here on the left hand side of the steering column you have of course your lighting for your fog lights and things of that sort dimming your cluster and all that stuff Look at the character that Audi puts around their vents. Beautiful black gloss with that nice metallic silver look. I'm just a big fan of Audi. Steering wheel, you also being a premium plus package, optional heated steering wheel. You get that with the three spoke steering. You will see slightly different steering wheels from different trim packages like the RSQ5 and things of that sort. Let's go ahead and start the car for the sake of the video. And you get fully digital cluster, fully digital infotainment center. Now we have the classic cluster look, and I'm gonna be showing you guys that uh, in the video where you can change the cluster look. Let's go ahead and continue as a guest. And check this out. If you come over to, we're gonna go home. We're gonna come over to settings, display and brightness, Audi virtual cockpit, and you're gonna come over to this uh, screen here and you can set a different look. Let's go to S performance. It's gonna ask you to change. And look at that, it gives it more of a performance look or let's go over to dynamic. And you get another change. So if you're feeling bored of that classic Audi look, go ahead and change it, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Now, something I also, I wanna show you guys that these cars are coming with. It is a lot going on. The vehicle coming to driver assistance. Now, you have a lot going on here. And you got your speed warning, traffic light information, Audi adaptive cruise control, distant warning, traffic jam assist. Something that I want you guys to know is on the traffic jam assist, you have where Audi itself will guide and help you drive in a traffic up to 40 miles an hour. Very cool feature to have. Audi Active Lane Assist, Audi Presense, Side Assist. Very cool that you have the 360 cameras and Audi is helping you making the drive more convenient and easy for you. And the safety that you're getting in Audi, beautiful. You got a whole lot going on like your, uh, you can change your 
Audi Drive Select to off-road if you see yourself dynamic, maybe you're gonna be just street or going more performance and you wanna use these paddle shifters right behind the steering wheel, you could also do that. Well, if you do come down to Nilo Audi in Sacramento, they have sales reps, awesome crew to sit here and teach you about this beautiful car. So guys, the infotainment screen, the digital, I want you guys to kind of get an idea that the tech is inside the car. Quattro stamped in front of that passenger seat. Now look at this passenger seat. Leather dressed with the beautiful stitching. Now it's black with that kind of gray rock stitching. Very cool, the character. Letting you know it's not too sporty yet, not too luxurious. Pretty nice uh, holsters in that they are electric seating, heated seats on both fronts, and they do have lumbar support. Continuing under the infotainment screen, your dual climate control. Let's go ahead and turn that on so you guys can kind of get an idea. You have your heated seat buttons and your controls for your climates, or it says three zone climate control. Whoops, my bad. Right under that, you have your control unit for your hill decline assist, parking sensors, traction control, your drive select buttons, not only through your infotainment screen, but you could also change through manual. USB A plug in 12 volt, a little bit of cubby room, engine starts button, cubby room, cubby room, control your media sound and radio stations through a knob. So Audi offers manual controls and also touch sensitive controls. Very nice. Um, shift knob for that with the parking button right on that shift knob very convenient parking sensor button here so that is very cool and one thing that i like that audi does is you don't have the parking button here on the left audi puts it where your hand is very comfortable in these q5s loving that cup holders nice deep wide we like our cups and our drinks cubby room usb-c plug-in so you do have that option and an adjustable uh, dressed in leather a uh, cubby room. Something that I don't want to forget to mention is on these seats. You do have the adjustable headrest. They're pretty plush. Check this out. And they go forward and back, not just up. That's very cool. Coming over to the top, got your touch sensitive ambient LED lighting. Very responsive. As soon as you touch it, it turns on and off. Panoramic glass with the electrical controlled visor all the way to the second row seating. Now look how big this glass is. Big fan, takes a little bit of while, but very cool that the second row gets that same feeling that that uh, first row does. And let's go ahead and open this. And look how big this roof glass is when it's opening. Now remember, Audi has that premium airflow that just comes in. So if you do have your hair uh, fixed, it's not that type of air that's going to just destroy your hair. So very cool, loving this big moonroof for the size of this SUV. So guys, we're pretty much done with the front side of this interior on this beautiful 2023 Q5. Let's go ahead and head over to the second row seating. Now let's talk second row seating on this 2023 Q5. The leather seating does not simplify from the front over to the back. I want you guys to take a notice into that because you will see manufacturers simplify those back seats. But you got that gray rock stitching with that uh, dressed black seat. Very cool. Now, look, check this out. By the control lever on the side of the seats, drop that seat down and it control, it connects, sorry, over to the back trunk space, getting you more uh, maximized space. So if you want to put dishwashers or I don't know, dryers back here or something and you don't got a truck and you want to use this, you can also use this SUV to carry. Maybe you're heading up to the mountains and you got some skis or snowboards and it's just a little bit longer. You also have the possibility of dropping just this middle one. Look at that. And you can still fit forward, shoot some things through that center area aisleway and go ahead and head up over to the mountains. Press the button, armrest drops, press the button and your small little cup holders, these things look Little too tad bit small. Maybe you could fit an Izzy can in there if anybody knows what our Izzy drinks are. It's a little fruit drink here in America. But okay, let's go ahead and step inside. Now, uh, remember that you can move these seats forward and back and it's gonna be a tad bit tough, but look at that. Now, just remember you kinda have to give a nice little tug. You could do that with 
the uh, 60, I mean the 40, 20 seat, also with just the 40. Let's go ahead. I'm about six feet, two inches. Headroom, very nice. Um, my hair is kind of touching the top of the cab, so you might have to slouch just a bit. And legroom, that's a whole lot of legroom in this Q5 pocket room. Controls for your um, climate here on the back of the center rest, controls for your vent, and your USB-A plugins with your 12 volt outlets. Door panels look pretty much the same as the front with that natural wood, metallic silver. And something I don't want you guys to forget is optional, a Bang & Olufsen premium sound system inside these Audi cars. Very cool. My best advice to anybody would be go with the premium sound because it just makes the drive a whole lot better. So, and you can slightly drop the angle on these back backrests. So guys, we're pretty much done in the exterior, interior, and specs review of this car. Leave comments, questions, concerns in the comment section below. We really appreciate you guys watching our channel here at Vagabond Builds. Stay tuned, we got some cool things coming.